Okay, here we are at Edmodo, and <clears throat> we're going to. Sh I'm going to show you how to write a post. It's very, very, very simple. At the type, it says type your note here. That's what you're going to do, and it will go in down here. Obviously, that's how that works. So, simply, you click right in there. Type what you want. I'm going to type, I love the leopards because. I got school spirit. <laughs> now here is what's very important. Below that it says send to. You must select who is going to receive it. The group, yourself, or the teacher. I'm going to pick the group so the whole group can share my school spirit. And I click post and boom! I love the leopards. There it is. Everybody can see it. Now one thing to know is that all your posts are public. So be careful what you write. <clears throat> so there it is. Now, I want to reply to a post. Very, very, very simple. So I picked this one here, homework for Mr. Colley. And I'm just going to go over there and click reply. And I type what I want to write. I don't like homework, but I love using Edmodo. There it is. Well, let's use love is pretty strong. Let's use like. And <clears throat> I click post. Done. There it is. How about that? Okay. Some other things you can do. You can reply to posts, but because when you write a post, you can edit it, you can delete it. It's very, 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 very simple. Uh, you just click on the post, click on edit, make your changes, and you click save. <clears throat> Voila, there you have it. This only works for posts you write, not anybody else. And of course, as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm deleting it. Quite simple. Okay, so take a look. Let's say I, I can delete that one. I can delete that one, but I can't delete this one because someone else wrote it. Not because the teacher wrote it, but because someone else wrote it. So keep that in mind. Okay? If you look on the right-hand side, you see something called filters. Check out what this does. Let's say I want to see only my assignments. No problem. I click on assignments, boom, they're right there. Let's say I just want to see my files. Click on the files, boom, there we go. Those are all my pictures, documents. Now let's say I want to get back to see everything. You see it says close files right there, kind of at the top. Do you see it? There it is. And I'm going to click that and boom, everything comes back. This is a handy way to organize all your different alerts, files, links, everything. Pretty cool, huh? Another cool thing about Edmodo is you can add files. So I'm going to add a file. You click add a file. It wants you to give a short description. So I'm going to type in there, go leopards. Go leopards. And because I'm putting a picture of a leopard. You click choose file, as you saw. You find it on your computer. And you select it. Now it's going to take a little while to load, but that's all right. Make sure you pick on who you want to send it to. I'm sending it to the group this time. And there it goes. Voila. We got a cool picture of a leopard right there on the post. Isn't that awesome? Now you can do that with videos, with Word documents, with Excel documents. You can do that with... Uh, you can put website addresses up there, so those are hyperlinks, you know, as you can see at the top there, links. I mean, Edmodo has got it going on. So here, I'm going to put a link to Edmodo up there. And I can say, this is the link to Edmodo, which is kind of silly because we're already using Edmodo. I'm going to send it to the group, hit click send, and it will pop up. And all you have to do is click on that link. and You've got it. So there you have it. Edmodo, again, awesome. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.